Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be making Bakewell puddings and I bet you're thinking what the earth's that? Quick rundown a little bit of the story. Going back in the old days and we're talking about a really really long time ago. The old baker went on the booze at the night. In the morning he came in to make the Bakewell tarts like you would normally make Bakewell tarts. But for some reason he left out one of the ingredients but still carried on making it and then realised oh something's gone wrong. So what he did is uh, I think we'll, I'll tell you what, we're going to use puff pastry, bit of jam, make it the same as we would normally do and just put it in the tarts. And that's how your Bakewell puddings originated. And it's as simple as that. And as a professional baker, I'm going to be showing you all different things that you would never see on YouTube. And particularly this recipe, it's like the magic circle. You don't tell anybody about your trick. And don't forget to check for your recipe, it's down there. And also while you're down there, Please subscribe and please share. We'll get right on with the recipe. Now, as you can see, this is a very simple recipe today. What you need is some five inch squares of puff pastry, and that's about three millimeters thick. Don't bother making it, just buy it from the supermarket. It's quick and easy. Also, you need a large Yorkshire pudding pan. You need some almond essence, six ounces of melted butter, eight ounces of egg. Now, this egg has been broken, okay? And eight ounces of caster sugar. Right, it's now time to put your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be 180 Celsius, and that's a fan assisted. Now this product will bake for around about 20 minutes. Give or take, it could take up to 25 minutes, depends on your oven. So this is so easy, this recipe. So there's your melted butter. All we need to do is add in our sugar, add in our eggs, bit of flavoring, and just stir it all around. You just want to mix this round so it's nice and smooth. And that's it, it's all blended in together. All you need now is your Yorkshire pudding tray. Pick your pastry up. All we need to do is just push them down into the tray. Like that. All nice and even. A little bit of a docking. Just a little bit, not too much. A bit of raspberry jam in the bottom. You can use strawberry jam if you want. So to make it easier, pour the mixture into a jug and just pour it in. So we're going to go and pop this into the oven now and we're going to be baking this for around about 20 to 25 minutes and halfway through turn around because oddly enough even my little sage oven I'm using you still need to turn it around in the oven. So whilst that's baking now we've got this bit of mixture left now I think you're thinking oh well well actually this particular mix will make eight of these. In part two of the video I'm going to show you what to do with this. It just makes it easier doesn't it. We'll see you back in 20 minutes. Bakewell puddings are now ready, so we'll get them out of the oven. So wasn't that nice and easy? So there we go, folks. What do you, what do you think of those? Aren't they scrummy looking? So there's no point looking at them, is it? So let's cut one open and see what's inside, because I bet you're all dying to find out what a Bakewell pudding is all about. So that is what a Bakewell pudding looks like inside. You've got your layer of pastry there, and then once again, then you've got your pudding on top. It almost looks like custard. Well, you know there's nothing custardy gone in there. But that looks lovely. Pastry is baked perfection. So the question is, folks, what's it taste like? <laughs> it tastes like a pudding, doesn't it? <laughs> so here we go. Well, to be honest, though it's not a, a custard as such, it's very much like a custard, but with an almond flavour. Uh, and I actually quite like it. I could eat this thing with no trouble at all. And all this was, Bakewell pudding, was a mistake. But there you go, folks. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, part two is following part one. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker's channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes.
reviews. I am the crazy baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!